Well, this is what many roadways look like in Sussex County. Billboards cluttered on the side and some county council members say action is needed. Well, good evening. I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Chris Weimer. This is WBOC News at 7. Well, for months now, a group has been meeting to discuss possible solutions to a perceived problem in Sussex County. Yeah, now that group is urging the county council to take action. Now, our Sussex County Bureau Chief, Evan Koslop, has covered the topic since the start and is following this recent development. He joins us live in front of the county building in Georgetown. And Evan, this group consisted of members from various parts of county government and more importantly, members of the public. At a recent workshop, county council members discussed the recommendations before looking for input from both the Board of Adjustments and the Planning and Zoning Commission. Once they get that input, a, an ordinance could be right around the corner. Just drive down Route 26 and you'll see it. Billboard after billboard crowding the roadways. But the question is whether these signs are really a problem. County Councilman George Cole says yes. He led the charge for a sign moratorium while they figured out an ordinance. Here he was last summer discussing his concerns with WBOC. There's clusters of them. It's unsightly. It's, uh, the electronic ones can be distracting. And we're putting billboards that should be uh, typically on a four-lane highway or a, um, like an interstate, and we're putting them on two-lane roads. <laughs> Now, all these months later, the county is one step closer to an ordinance. A work group consisting of the public and government officials recommended that action should be taken. And at a recent workshop, county council asked for input from the Board of Adjustments and the Planning and Zoning Commission. Once they get that, the ball will be in the court of the county council. But not everyone is on board with such regulation. In past interviews, large shopping centers like Tinger Outlets chimed in, saying these billboards are a crucial part of their advertising in particular for getting tourists to shop. Tanger outlets, we use them as directionals for visitors and tourists coming to the Delmarva Peninsula, making sure that we're reassuring them they're on the right path, this is the directions. Occasionally there's a billboard, but compared to other markets, I don't see that as being a huge problem in our rural outlying areas. More than a year in the making, an ordinance could be on the way. County Council is now racing against the clock, so to speak. That's because a moratorium on billboard applications is set to end on March 15th. I spoke with George Cole. He tells me that it's unlikely that an ordinance is going to be ready by then, and so they may need an extension. Morning here in Sussex County, Evan Kozlov for WVOC News in Georgetown. All right, Evan, thank you very much. Now, a lot of discussion is right around the corner. The Planning and Zoning Commission is expected to discuss this issue next week on February 25th, Soon after, the Board of Adjustments will be discussing it as well at their February 29th meeting. Once again, the moratorium on billboard applications is set to expire on March 15th, so there's definitely a tight window to pass an ordinance there in Sussex County. 